Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Roger here. Today in today's video is episode 16 of The Road Subtract, and I'm just gonna go straight in with the video now. Let's go. So extend the SBTV theory from last week, guys, that there is, you know, on SBTV that there's A64 and F64s, and Ed's most, or pretty much all of the performances that Ed's Ed performed on SBTV is either an A64 or an F64, which I think pretty much means an acoustic or... I'm not too sure what exactly it means, the A64 or the F64, but we're sticking to 64 here, guys, pretty much, yes. And also on Ed's Instagram, it looks like it's weirdly glitched, I think on most people's Instagrams, uh, of 64 posts. Could that potentially link to SBTV, 64, the A64 and the F64? I'm not too sure, guys, I'm not too sure. And the reason why I'm saying this is because most of the songs, or some of the songs on Subtracts, are potentially could be about Jamal Edwards, who sadly passed away last year on the 20th of February. Last year, yeah. Um, also, literally, I wrote these notes in the morning of yesterday. And then later on yesterday, literally, NHQ literally posted the Eraser F64. The Eraser Extended SBTV version and also a story, a poll of either Take It Back or Eraser. Literally, on Multiply, if you don't know, Take It Back's the acoustic, the acoustic rap. Could we potentially get an acoustic rap on Subtract, guys? I'm not too sure, guys. Just me if there and speculating. Also, on the NHQ story, literally, hashtag F64. Yes, guys, literally, 64 is the topic of this episode, of episode 16 of The Road Subtracts. 64. Also, 64 weeks, this is where it gets a bit, whoa, <laughs> literally 64 weeks from the Equals release date, which was the 29th of October 2021, up until the 20th of January 2023, is exactly 64 weeks. Yes, guys, literally exactly bang on 64 weeks from each other. So potentially, could we potentially, could, um, I said potentially so many times, potentially, Maybe that Ed could surprise release subtract this coming Friday on the 20th of, 20th of January 2023, just before the intimate New Zealand shows, which is next Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Ne next week. Well, not this week, but next week. Yes. <laughs> uh, next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 24th, 25th, and 26th of January. Could literally Ed surprise release subtract on the 20th of January? That would be insane. That we've been waiting literally all month for, for this album, guys. <laughs> literally, just been patiently waiting for subtracts to drop. Could this be the reason why? Because of the 64, 64 theory of Ed's Instagram, and then F, F and A 64s on SPTV, um, and then the 64 weeks in between from the Eagles release date on the 29th of October 2021 up until the 20th of January 2023. I do think this could be the case. I'm not too sure. I might be just clowning right here now, guys, but I'm the biggest clown of all time, I think. <laughs> um, of, of theories and speculating everything, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Another reason why I'm the biggest clown ever, because I literally calculated 20 times 1 times 23, which equals to 460. Why is this relevant? I don't know. I just worked it out. But 460, literally just take... Just swap the zero and the four. What do you get, guys? 64. <laughs> I'm the biggest clown ever, aren't I, guys? <laughs> I'm the biggest theory guy ever. <laughs> 20 times 1 times 23, which equals 460. Just swap the four and the zero around. What do you get? 64. <laughs> I'm crazy, aren't I, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, also, it's the last Friday before the New Zealand Intimate shows, like on the 20th of January. That would be crazy to think about. Yes. Also, I don't think it will be on the 27th because Sam Smith has got his album Gloria out. Um, and also, the Ed Club, who will love Sam Smith and Ed Sheeran. Um, also, Maisie Peters, who is on Ed's Gingerbread Man, Gingerbread, Ma Gingerbread Man record label, Gingerbread Man Records, yes. Uh, she's got a song coming out. Um, on the 27th called Body Better, which is her first single from an upcoming album as well. So I don't think it's going to be on the 27th. The 20th seems perfect for me. Very, very perfect for me because that I just said with the 64 theories, yes. 
64 theories and also like it would be very I'm not like very weird if Ed just comes back with who we love Sam Smith because and then go on tour and then not release really subtract. I do think Ed needs to release some tracks b before Who We Love and before the Australian leg of the Mathematics Store. And even potentially before the, Aust the New Zealand Intimate Show. So the 20th of January is the perfect fit. And the people who go into the Intimate in New Zealand shows, and if, does and if, and if Ed does play the subtract songs, people, people are going to have their phones out, I bet. Um, or, yeah, or, or like people are going to have their phones, most likely, I don't know. And also, people to learn the songs, potentially, if it's going to be a subtract show, an intimate sh subtract show, show in New Zealand, I'm not too sure, guys. Yeah, you know. Also, Ed does really love New Zealand so much, and it would be the perfect place to perform the subtract songs after when the album comes out, pretty much the first venue after the album comes out, um, which I cannot wait for. Um, yeah, like I do think Ed's going to surprise really subtract some of those most likely on the 20th of January because of the 64 with Harry. The six, I love that. The, the 64 theory. Yes, the 64 theory. Um, that's what I'm calling it. The SPTV 64 theory. 64 weeks from e ever since e since equals. 64 weeks from since equals. Pretty much, yes. Um, yeah. Surprise release of tracks on the 20th of January. Maybe potentially. I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not too sure. Nothing is confirmed, of course. Just me theorizing, speculating, like always. Nothing is confirmed as of yet. Yes. Um, I'll make that clear right now. Um, but yeah. Also, with this The Guardian article from 2012, it says um, um, a whiff of the buzz Sharon was generating and wonder if he'd be interested in doing an A64. A 64 bar round of rap music is called an F64, and this would be the acoustic equivalent. As we know, guys, Subtract is supposedly going to be an acoustic album, acoustic equivalent, the F64, um, and this would be something SBTV have never before attempted. The resultant video, Union Me, went viral and gained millions of hits. That's pretty much the reason the the explanation of an a6 between the difference of an a64 and an f64 i think yeah pretty much according to the guy in article right here so yeah and also i'd like to give a shout out to donovan on the subreddit the australian subreddit and also teddy's the only one for pretty much originating this sbtv theory or maybe ed says on the 19th hey guys got some traps coming midnight Imagine, guys, literally, imagine Thursday on the 19th of January. Hey, guys, some tracks coming tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, the 20th. That would be crazy to think about, wouldn't it, guys? That's what pretty much Taylor Swift pretty much did with Folklore and Evermore as well. Like, literally the day before Taylor released them albums, she surprise released them two albums, Evermore and Folklore in 2020. And also Aaron Desner, I believe he current with Taylor on them albums and then I think apparently Aaron Desner's written some songs of that on some tracks coming I don't know when that's what I'm thinking the 20th of January I don't know <laughs> let's see what happens guys let's wait and see nothing is confirmed let's just wait and see um if the 20th is the perfect release date for subtracts which I think so yeah another reason why subtracts could be very soon, aka the 20th of January, is because literally on Thursday, on Thursday, the um, the Union Chapel, well, not the entire show, of course, but um, literally they uploaded, well, like interviews with then, in, in, little interviews with fans, and a little bit of a a clip, clips of clips of the Union Chapel show, where Ed only performed the, well, he did perform some track songs, but we didn't see anything, all, all, all. The video only contained the A-Team in Perfect, pretty much, yeah, from the Union Chapel show, which was in the, on the 11th of November, which Ed played some Subtract songs. Um, but yeah, which I cannot wait to hear. We know the names, the eight names from that show, which are going to be on Subtract. But, but yeah, 
hopefully next Friday, just before the New Zealand dates and the 64th theory as well, um, which I cannot wait to hear this album. It, even though it's going to be, I think, Ed's most emotional album to date, it is, it is going to be a masterpiece of an album, some tracks, because, of course, it's going to be called The Mathematics Tour, and Ed did say in some interviews that Ed's going to potentially release it maybe just before, or maybe just after the the Australian New Zealand tour starts. But we're not entirely too sure. If if nothing comes on the 20th, guys, if nothing comes on the 20th of January, maybe potentially, I'm saying maybe the 23rd, because that is literally the day before the first Intimate New Zealand show, or maybe sometime in February, potentially on the 17th of February. I don't know, guys. Or maybe on the Monday. I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely too sure. No one knows, except from Ed and maybe the team, and that's it. Pretty much of when Ed could potentially release some tracks. But with the sixty-four theory, that I'm in my mind, that makes total sense. I don't know about you. And also Ed HQ sharing the eraser, and eraser clip from SBTV, and then the poll on the story. Yeah, either take it back or eraser. Yeah, like, I cannot wait for subtracts now. Yeah. For the last 10 years of my career, I've always had, like, from the 23rd to maybe, like, the 10th of January off. And it's That's it's awesome. good. It's very nice. Also, I, well, shouts to Sheer and Cheese for sharing this clip again. Um, pretty much, Ed takes a break, well, from the 23rd of December to the 10th of January. Well, of course, it's the 14th of January now, um, potentially... We could get some tracks anytime now, any teasers anytime. But like I said, pretty much surprise release on the 20th, potentially. Nothing is confirmed, just me theorizing, speculating like always. Guys, and yeah, pretty much, yes. And also with the SBTV stuff, Ed performed some songs from Plus. I think there was either A64 or an F64. And like, of course, the, the Union Me, pretty much Union Me. Um, which really kickstarted off for Ed, like, um, Jamal invited him on SB SBTV to perform Uni Me, I don't need you, and then Ed kept coming back and then them two becoming really close friends, you know. And some tracks will be full circle because, like, literally, like, look at on the Mathematics Tour logo, for example, like, you've got plus, multiply, divide, equals, and then some tracks, which is next to plus because, literally, I do think some tracks is going to be the arm closest to plus. And literally, of all the things with SBTV and that, with Jamal and Ed and everything. So, Subtracts is going to be the closest album nearest to Plus. Like, yeah, in my opinion, which is going to be... And I love I love Plus so much, you know. The first Ed songs I ever heard was The A-Team in Leather House, which I did like, but I, I didn't become a fan at the time. It was all the way back in 2011, September and October 2011. I first heard Lego House and the A-Team, um, yeah, which I love so much and I love them. Actually, I watched the A-Team in a science lesson, the teacher put it on, and then in October, the teacher put on Lego House. Is this, is this Ron Weasley? But no, it was Ed. There we go. <laughs> I think it was actually in a mathematics lesson. It was actually called math Mathematics. I'm not too sure, guys. I think it was 12, 11 years ago. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And also, one more theory, guys. If Subtrax does not release in either January or February or even March, potentially it could release in April. But I don't think... I think that is very unlikely. But just one more theory. As yesterday, the 20 New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival announced its 2023 lineup, and Ed's playing um, is from the 20th of April to the 7th of May. Ed's playing Weekend 1. And he's headlining, and I believe he's one of the headliners that weekend. So he's going to be on the 20th and 29th and 30th of April, the first weekend of the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. So potentially, could maybe Subtract come then? I don't know. Could we wait another three more months until Subtract? I don't think so. I don't think. If, that's the if, Subtract doesn't release now, well, in, in this week or February or March. And also, could you know, with the. Um, New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, like just that's just before 
the North American leg of the mathematics tour, so potentially you could subtract from out Ben. I don't know, guys. That is episode 16 of The Road Subtracts, and I think this is going to be a long video. Um, but, oh, well, I think you guys love these long Road Subtracts videos and the hype. And well, I know we are all ready for Subtracts. We've been waiting for so long for this album now, guys. Subtracts. It could potentially come this Friday. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Just me theorizing and speculating like always, guys. And yeah. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.